Alrighty, so we've covered the C and the R in CRUD, create and read. Now we're moving on to the U, which stands for update. So how do we update or alter existing data in our database? We've inserted something and maybe we made a mistake, we wanna change it, uh, but it's not always a mistake. In our applications, let's say we have users, think about when you're updating your password. You forgot a password as a user, so you click the forget password link, uh, and you reset your password, well, that needs to be changed in the database. Or you change your profile picture on Facebook, or you change your, I don't know, relationship status or something. All of that requires updating. So how do we do it? And the answer is that we use probably the longest uh, SQL command you've seen so far. There's multiple parts. But the key words are update, set, and where. So we've already seen where. This is where we tell MySQL which items in particular we want to select to update. So in this case, this entire line here is going to find in the cats table all the cats who have a breed of tabby. And we're going to change that breed to be short hair. So again, we have update and a table name, then set, and this is a list of the changes we wanna make. So in this case, I'm setting the breed to be short hair. And then who do we want to, or who is the wrong way of saying it, but what do we want to perform it on? What is the actual data? In this case, breed equals tabby. So I will go ahead and just copy this line, move over here. And if I do a select star from cats, you can see that we have two tabbies right now, Ringo and Misty. If I paste this line in, update cats, change their breed to be short hair if their breed is tabby. And now we select star again. You can see that both tabbies or previously tabbies are now short hairs. Misty and, or excuse me, Ringo and Misty. So here's another example. Let's say I wanted to change Misty's age to be 14. Right now, Misty is 13. And we realize, I don't know, we realize that her dental records are wrong. Apparently you can tell how old a cat is from their dental or from their teeth. So we misjudged how old she was and we wanna make her 14 now. So to do that, looks like this. Update the cats table, set age to be 14. We don't need quotes this time because we're working with a number, an integer. And we only want to do that if name is Misty. So let's try it. Now select star again, or if you actually want to be more specific, we could do select star from cat's where name equals Misty. Let's try that again without that extra L at the end. You can see Misty is now 14 rather than 13. The last thing that I'll mention about updating is that there's a good rule of thumb that you should follow. When you're updating something, you should make sure that you're targeting the right data before you actually do the update. So basically run the select, the equivalent select using your where uh, query. And once you make sure that returns the data you expect, then update it, just so that you avoid accidentally updating the wrong data. And the same holds true when we talk about deleting, which we'll do in just a moment. But the core idea is that there's no undo button so you could update something back manually if you messed it up, but you always wanna just make sure you're targeting what you mean to target before you hit enter on your update.